Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Book Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Friday, yep, it's Friday. And usually, typically, sometimes on Friday, we review a magic book because I'm not just interested in showing you all the latest and greatest magic tricks or even the coolest playing cards. I also wanna help you improve as a magician and I think that that's really where magic books come in. Because there are some magic books that don't just teach magic tricks, there are also some that teach theory. Things that'll actually help you become a better magician. And that's what I want to help you do all the time. I want you to be better at what you do because I know you love magic as much as I do. So today, we actually have a magic book that's gonna help you behind the scenes. This is Plotting Astonishment from Theron Christensen. All right, Plotting Astonishment. This is the Performing Magician's Guide to Creating Original Magic. This is a paperback book. It's 137 pages. It costs $40 and right now, you can find it exclusively at amazon.com. All right, so what's Plotting Astonishment all about? So let's just say that you're growing as a magician, right? You're maturing, you're developing, you're finding your own style, you're finding your own voice, you're beginning to find your character. It's starting to become easier for you to discern uh, the kinds of tricks you like and the kinds of tricks you don't, right? You're starting to purchase things maybe with a more discerning eye you're starting to be a little bit more careful about how you spend your money, and you're really starting to hone in on the tricks that fit your personality. But then you'll go out and you'll watch Penn and Teller Fool Us, you'll watch America's Got Talent, right? You'll see these uh, shows and you'll think to yourself, yeah, but how do I get to that level? How do I get to the level where I can start creating my own original tricks? Because sometimes you'll watch somebody on stage or you'll watch somebody on TV, and you might even think you know how some of those tricks are done, but you'll at least recognize that the trick that's being done is original to them, right? You might know some of the methods because they're classic methods, but you at least appreciate a new trick in a new frame, right? In a new setting. So how do you do that? How do you develop an original trick? How do you like spurn your creativity and you turn those wheels and dials on and just say, you know what? I'm gonna be creative, right? <laughs> How do you do that? You know, sit down and you, with a pen and paper or do you just look at all your magic tricks in your shelf and you think, well, you know, what could, I, what could I craft all of this together to be, right? Just like a chef who goes into a kitchen and has all the different elements of food, how do you put it all together and make something that maybe nobody's ever seen before? Well, in Plotting Astonishment, that is exactly what Theron Christensen wants to do. This book is about unlocking that creative potential that's within you. How do you do a series of exercises, maybe, that would walk you through the creative process? How do you begin thinking about developing original content? Either becoming a stage magician or a TV magician or a personality that has its own creative tricks and your own routines or Maybe even becoming an inventor where you could actually start inventing original tricks and selling them. This book is going to give you concrete, practical advice about how to make and develop and create your own original content. I got a couple quotes here. I can read them for you. Dan Harlan said, if you don't consider yourself to be creative, this book is required reading. And Joshua J said, I've long believed that you can't teach creativity and magic. And while I still believe that, I see real value in studying how particular performers approach their own work creatively in these terms. Now, obviously this is a book review, right? And in a review, it's really an overview. I'm, I'm explaining the book, helping you see uh, what's inside. So we're not gonna go through every single chapter, right? This is, I'm not gonna write a book about the book. <laughs> I, I wanna get you excited about the book so that you can pick it up yourself. But I will go through the table of contents with you and just show you some of the things that this book covers. So looking through the table of contents, you can see that there's five parts where the last part, part five, says my work. You're gonna get six magic tricks in addition to the book itself. So your $40 is really paying for uh, a bunch of creative magic theory, but also 
six original effects. Uh, part one is called What is Magic? And he's going to talk about, you know, what do you come up with first? You're going to come up with the effect first or the method first? Uh, part two is the novelty in magic. And he's going to talk about how it's rewarding, surprising, and ethical. Part three is the bulk of this book. And this is where the quote unquote magic happens. <laughs> he's going to talk about how you keep a journal of all of your ideas. And then he's going to walk you through five different exercises, how you can become more creative, building on forgotten effects effects from the outside, effects to satisfy your audience, building on your other interests and effects with interesting objects. And I do want to read one excerpt for you. And I think uh, Theron won't mind if I just read a little bit of this book, because I think that this piece that's in this chapter, um, Meaning and Magic, really kind of, kind of turned a corner for me when I was reading the book, because it really does separate uh, where we are in our heads when we think about magic or think about performing magic or even think about buying magic. You know, some of the times when I do reviews, I'm answering all these questions for you. Like, what's the setup? What's the reset? Right? And, and uh, how, you know, how well does it fit in your pocket? But I think Theron would even argue those are really the wrong questions. They're the wrong questions when you're thinking about performing. And so I wanted to kind of read just, I'm not even gonna read the whole thing. I'm just gonna read little bits and pieces of it because he's talking about how you think about, you know, how do you think about putting, when you think about putting the tricks on your person, say like you're gonna walk out the door and you're gonna put magic in your pockets, or let's say uh, you're loading up your suitcase to take to a gig. He says, typically when you do that, these are the things you're thinking about. If I pick this effect, it'll take up more time in my show. Uh, I can perform this effect surrounded. This effect doesn't require a lot of reset. This effect doesn't require a lot of pre-show. I don't have to learn any difficult sleight of hand. I don't have to make any props myself. He's like, those are the uh, requirements or the prerequisites we usually think of when we either buy a trick or bring a trick with us. But he says, these are the things you really should be thinking about, okay? These are the things you should be thinking about. This effect will help me highlight my performance as a character. I can illustrate a story maybe even from my childhood with this effect. I can make a moral point by performing this effect. This is my mother's favorite piece of magic. This is what I think real magic looks like, or I invented this piece of magic. You see the difference? We tend to think of magic and the tricks we take with us or the things we put in our pocket almost as being practical, right? And he's saying, look, you need to get out of that box of thinking, oh, if I just bring this deck of cards with me, then I can do 20 different tricks. Right. But if you bring a, maybe a gimmicked deck that you think looks like real magic, what's, what's the better, you know, to do one piece of magic that blows people's minds or just bring a standard deck that you could maybe do 20 effects from, but that just look like sleight of hand, right? Plotting astonishment. How do you take your magic to the level of astonishment? You know, in Darren Brown's book, he said that he doesn't even do any trick unless it looks absolutely like magic, right? That there's no other explanation for it. You couldn't say, oh, it's sleight of hand. You couldn't say, oh, well, he's got, you know, a mirror or a trap door. Darren Brown said, I don't even consider a trick unless it's going to astonish people, that it actually looks like magic. So again, plotting astonishment, something like 13 to 15 different chapters, all about helping you unlock your creativity. Six original effects. You can find this book for $40 at amazon.com. And I want to thank Theron Christensen for sending me this book so that I could do the review for you. Also, I want you to notice that I'm wearing my Xavier Spade t-shirt. And I want to let you know that I don't just talk about other channels. I also put my money where my mouth is and I support them. So I purchased this shirt because I believe in Xavier Spade and I love his channel. And if you follow Xavier Spade or ever watched his channel, you know that he's got a lot of good content, a lot of good magic. He has a second channel right now. He's a second channel, Xavier Spade Live over on YouTube. It's a totally different format. Uh, it's a lot of fun and a great way to waste a ton of time on YouTube, but you should definitely go over and subscribe to that channel as well. Like I said earlier, if you want to pick up Plotting Astonishment, you can find it at amazon.com for 40 bucks. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.